the great thing is that we learn that it gets automated and then we can move on. So we can walk down the street and think about what we should have said in that discussion we just had and think about the right thing 20 minutes later or plan dinner because we don't have to think about walking. Um, but that is the nature of the system. When you learn something it, and you learn it successfully, the autopilot takes over. And when the autopilot takes over, you stop noticing what you're doing, right? Which means you, you know, well, to quote Dr. Feldenkrais, if you don't know what you're doing, if you don't notice what you're doing, then you can't change it. You can't do what you want, right? And so I, I think that this is not a um, specific phenomena that has to do with people hurting themselves, right? Uh, you learn to uh, walk a certain way um, because of the people you emulate or because of how you feel about your body. And that becomes automatic and you stop noticing it. And, you know, years later, that can have an effect if you're really tall when you're young or if your breasts develop really quickly when you're, um, you know, the first one in school, that's going to change your comportment, how you carry yourself. And those things disappear. And, 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 and so I think for me, what's the most important thing about the method is it's, it's kind of an antidote to that situation. I, I like that we learn and that things become automatic and therefore become difficult to change is not a failure of our system. It's a feature of our system. Right. And so what do we do about that? Well, it basically means that unless we keep learning, we are trapped by what we, by what we've already learned. Right. And, and, and so I think the Feldenkrais method is a, is a tool for kind of breaking out of that trap. 